Hi, this is Ramesh from Informatica Support. This video is about uh, to show you a demo on how you can do a string concatenation in Power Center. Uh, I'll be talking mainly about three things. Uh, first is the concatenation of columns, the strings in Power Center mapping. Uh, I'll be further discussing about how you can add spaces between the concatenating columns for final output and uh, if there are any null columns or the, if there are any null values uh, in your input columns how you can identify and ignore it from getting concatenated in your final output so let's take a quick look at your demo here so here's the mapping I'm using for this demo purpose uh, the source is a flat file uh, I'm using here an expression uh, which and then I got a flat file as a target so let's see here um, the input columns I got from the source is like the first name middle name and the last name and uh, what I'm doing here is in through an expression I'm concatenating the value for the first name middle name the last name and sending it as a single output string uh, let me show you how I do it So there is a function called concat. Using this function, I'm doing a concatenation of middle name and the last name. So the last name is getting uh, concatenated with the first name. And uh, further, the output of this expression is getting concatenated to the first name. So the final output is your the concatenation of a single. So with the final output is a single string, which is nothing but the concatenation of the first name, middle name, and the last name. Okay, let me uh, show you the output. How does the output look like? Okay, so before I run this uh, session, let me show you the source file. So this is uh, this is my source file. Uh, it's an employee file uh, which has got six records. So if you see here, the first three records uh, has got value for like the first name, middle name, the last name. However, the last three records has got value only for the first name and the last name. They don't have the middle name, so middle name is null. Okay, let me run the session and see with simple concat function used as first name middle name the last name how does the output look like okay so it's processed the six records let's go to the target directory and see the output okay so output is nothing but basically the concatenation of your uh, input data so it's basically concatenated the first column second column and the third column and created a single string and dump it into the output file name so uh, the second thing I wanted to show you is if you want to have a space between uh, the value for the first column between first column and the second column and the third column or how many other column you have how can you add the, how, how can you do that right so here uh, I have something called name underscore O as an output port here what I'm doing is using the same concat function I'm prefixing a space before the last name and I'm prefixing a space before the output of this string so when I run this, uh, the output of this expression will be nothing but the first name, space, middle name, space, last name. Okay, let's see the output here. So let me delete this one and link name underscore O to the target and rerun the session again. Okay, so we see here six records. Let's take a look into the output file. Okay, so now the output looks like like the you have 
first name is space middle name is space last name which is like a proper uh, format uh, which makes sense more sense here uh, <coughs> if you look into the last three columns here um, we see a more space here compared to the first three records the reason for that is um, the value for the middle name was null right so it appended null as well with the final concatenating string now there could be a scenario or there could be a case where we want to identify the value for those null column beforehand and ignore it from getting appended now how do we do that right so let me go back to the dim this mapping here so I created another output port and um, here what I'm doing is I'm doing a condition check I'm doing a condition check on middle name what I'm doing is if middle name is null right take this value otherwise consider this value now what is the difference between the first and the second argument here is the first argument the first argument if you see here I don't add any prefix before the middle name so if this is null it doesn't add any space here it just uh, however if it is not null then you go then consider this a string uh, for the further concatenation which has which is basically appending a space before middle name so basically um, uh, you can do a condition check using is null function and modify your string uh, however you want so let me connect this output to the target and show you how does the final output look like Let's rerun the session again. Okay, it processed six records. Now let's see. Okay. So now what we see is the first three records are definitely uh, the same as the previous run. However, the last three now have they don't have that additional space or I would say any null con concatenation anymore so it's like uh, first name and the, th and the th uh, first name and the last name it doesn't add any null between those so this was pretty much I wanted to share uh, uh, on this video to show you uh, how you can do a concatenation a string concatenation or uh, you can input column concatenation um, within power center uh, if you want to add any space between those concatenating column you can do so very well and if you want to identify those uh, column that contain null value and you want to ignore it from the final concatenating string uh, you can do so as well using is null function um, I hope you enjoyed this video please send your feedback we'd love to hear from you uh, you can send your feedback at support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us at twitter.com slash infosupport thank you